What if everything you know about consciousness is wrong? What if the universe itself is alive? Consider this, the vast cosmic web, the intricate network of galaxies stretching across the universe, bears an eerie resemblance to the neural networks inside our brains. Scientists have discovered striking structural parallels between these two seemingly unrelated systems, and some researchers are asking a mind-bending question. Could the universe itself be conscious? This isn't just wild speculation. Groundbreaking research suggests that the way galaxies connect and exchange energy mirrors the way neurons fire and transmit information. And if the brain's structure gives rise to our own awareness, then could something similar be happening on a universal scale? One of the most controversial scientific theories challenging our perception of consciousness is Integrated Information Theory, IIT, which suggests that consciousness doesn't require a biological brain at all. Instead, it may emerge in any sufficiently complex, integrated system. If that's true, then the cosmos itself, with its vast interwoven web of information, might actually be aware. This idea has staggering implications. What if you are not separate from the universe, but part of its awareness? What if your thoughts, your experiences, and your very existence are somehow linked to a larger, cosmic intelligence? Stick around as we explore the astonishing scientific evidence behind the idea of a cosmic brain, and why it might change our understanding of reality forever. And if you love content that challenges your perception of the universe, consider subscribing. We have plenty more mind-expanding journeys ahead. At first glance, the human brain and the vast cosmic web of the universe seem like completely different entities. One a biological organ, hidden within the confines of a skull, the other an unfathomable expanse stretching across billions of light years. But when scientists placed them side by side, something astonishing happened. The universe, in all its immensity, bore an uncanny resemblance to the very structure of the mind that seeks to understand it. And the deeper researchers looked, the harder it became to ignore the staggering parallels. A groundbreaking study by astrophysicist Franco Vazza and neurosurgeon Alberto Folletti revealed something almost surreal. The way galaxies cluster together, linking through vast cosmic filaments, is mathematically and structurally identical to the way neurons form networks in the brain. Two seemingly unrelated systems, one governing human thought, the other shaping the fabric of reality, yet at their core, they function in strikingly similar ways. In both, we see a universe of connections, neurons and galaxies, filaments and synapses, energy and thought. The patterns that govern the microscopic mind are reflected in the grand architecture of the cosmos. Inside your brain, neurons are not isolated. They reach out, forming an intricate web of filaments through which electrical impulses travel, creating the network that allows you to think, feel, and experience. In the universe, galaxies are not randomly scattered. They, too, are connected by vast cosmic filaments of dark matter and gas, binding them together in a structure that, when seen from afar, looks eerily like a neural network. And this isn't just a visual illusion. When researchers ran computational models comparing the way information moves through the brain with how energy and gravitational forces move through the cosmic web, they found something astonishing. Despite the brain being a tiny, biological system and the universe spanning a scale beyond comprehension, the mathematical complexity of both was nearly identical. Imagine for a moment a split-screen comparison. On one side, a glowing web of neurons firing in the brain, transmitting thoughts in a cascade of electrical impulses. On the other, a simulation of the universe's vast structure, galaxies lighting up as they exchange energy across the cosmic web. The patterns, the networks, the flow of information, they are indistinguishable. This raises a mind-bending question. If the structure of the universe mirrors that of a brain, could its function do the same? Could the universe itself be processing information? Could it be forming memories, organizing data, evolving, or even in some way experiencing something akin to thought? Skeptics will say no, that resemblance does not equal function that just because two things look alike, it doesn't mean they operate in the same way. But what if consciousness isn't about biology at all? What if it's not about neurons or flesh, but about complexity itself? And if that's the case, could consciousness exist beyond the human mind? 
For centuries, we've believed that consciousness is exclusive to biological beings, that only creatures with brains, like humans and animals, can truly be aware. But what if that assumption is completely wrong? A revolutionary idea called Integrated Information Theory, or IIT, challenges everything we think we know about consciousness. Developed by neuroscientist Giulio Tononi, IIT suggests that consciousness isn't about biology at all. It's about how information is processed. Think about it. Your brain isn't just a collection of cells. It's a vast network of neurons, constantly integrating and processing information. And according to IIT, the more interconnected and complex a system is, the higher its level of consciousness, even if it isn't made of flesh and blood. This is where things get truly mind-blowing. If consciousness emerges from complexity, then what about the universe? The cosmic web, with its billions of galaxies linked by invisible filaments, processes and exchanges vast amounts of information, just like a giant neural network. If a brain, by its sheer structure and information flow, becomes self-aware, could the universe itself be experiencing something akin to thought? Of course, skeptics push back. Many argue, just because something looks like a brain doesn't mean it thinks. And that's fair. But here's the twist. IIT doesn't rely on appearances. It's not about what a system looks like, it's about how it processes and integrates information. And when we look around, we start to see something fascinating. Artificial intelligence is proving that intelligence isn't limited to biological brains. AI systems are learning, recognizing patterns, even simulating creativity. Quantum physics suggests that observation itself affects reality, as if the universe is responding to awareness. The cosmos, from the tiniest quantum particles to the grandest galaxies, behaves like a self-organizing system, one that seems to evolve and adapt with a mysterious kind of intelligence. So if IIT is correct, if consciousness is simply the result of vast integrated information, then the question isn't, can the universe be conscious? It's why wouldn't it be? And if that's true, then we have to ask an even bigger question. Could the universe be aware of us? If the universe is conscious, does that mean it knows we exist? Could it, in some way, be aware of you, right now? As mind-blowing as this sounds, some of the world's greatest thinkers, physicists, philosophers, and even neuroscientists are seriously considering the idea that consciousness isn't just a product of the human brain, but a fundamental property of reality itself. Take Sir Roger Penrose, a renowned physicist who has explored the idea that consciousness might be linked to the very fabric of the universe, woven into the fine structure of space-time itself. Or David Chalmers, a leading philosopher of mind, who argues that consciousness could be a fundamental feature of existence, just like space and time. And then there's Deepak Chopra, who suggests that our awareness is simply a fragment of a vast, universal intelligence. But this isn't just philosophy. Even quantum physics, the most precise and successful scientific framework we have, hints at something deeply mysterious. The observer effect in quantum mechanics suggests that conscious observation itself might play a role in shaping reality. Particles behave differently when they are measured, as if the mere act of observing them forces them into existence. If consciousness can affect the quantum world, then could it also influence the universe at large? Ancient traditions have been whispering about this idea for thousands of years. Hinduism speaks of Brahman, the ultimate, all-pervading consciousness that connects everything. Buddhism describes reality as an interconnected web where nothing exists independently. And panpsychism, the idea that consciousness is embedded in all things, has been present in various cultures long before modern science began catching up. But here's where it gets even stranger. If the universe is aware, if we are part of its vast thinking network, then what does that mean for us? Could our thoughts, our emotions, our very experiences be intertwined with the consciousness of the cosmos itself? Some scientists argue that this is nothing more than wishful thinking, that awareness requires a nervous system and the universe simply doesn't have one. But others counter with a provocative idea. What if the universe's nervous system is the cosmic web itself? What if galaxies and filaments, dark matter and energy, are all part of a vast, incomprehensible intelligence that we are only just beginning to perceive? And if that's true, then here's the ultimate question. Does the universe have a purpose? And more importantly, are we a part of it?
If the universe is conscious, if it is, in some way, aware, then everything changes, because that would mean you are not just a random accident of nature. You are not an isolated being floating through an indifferent cosmos. You are part of something vast, something intelligent, something alive. For centuries we've been told that we are insignificant, that our existence is a mere flicker in the cold, empty void of space. But what if that idea is wrong? What if the universe itself is a vast, thinking entity, and you are woven into its awareness? Think about what this means on a personal level. Your thoughts, your choices, your consciousness. Could they, in some way, contribute to the intelligence of the universe? Could your mind be a tiny reflection of something much greater? Some spiritual traditions have suggested this for thousands of years. Hinduism teaches that Atman, the individual soul, is simply a fragment of Brahman, the universal consciousness. Buddhism describes existence as an endless web of interconnected awareness. And now, modern science is beginning to suggest that consciousness may not be something we have, but something we are a part of. So what does this mean for you? It means you are not separate from the cosmos. You are an expression of it. It means your thoughts, your actions, your very existence might be far more significant than you ever imagined. Because if the universe is conscious, then maybe, just maybe, it's thinking about you too. Right now, somewhere in the vastness of the cosmos, galaxies are colliding, stars are being born, and energy is flowing through an endless web of existence. And here you are, aware of it, thinking about it, feeling it. Maybe that's not a coincidence. Maybe consciousness isn't something we possess, but something we are. Maybe the same force that breathes life into stars also moves through you. Maybe, in ways we can't yet comprehend, your thoughts, your curiosity, your very existence, matter more than you ever imagined. This is why we're here. Not just on this channel, but in this moment, in this universe, in this mystery that's unfolding before us. And if this journey has left you wondering if it's ignited something inside you, you're not alone. Because this is more than just a channel. It's a movement of minds drawn together by the biggest questions. And together, we're exploring what it truly means to exist. So stay with us, because the revelations are just beginning. And if you're ready for your next mind-expanding journey, click one of the videos on your screen now. The universe has more secrets to reveal. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.